Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and in this video guys we're reviewing the 93 rated Spanish Bayern Munich team of the season, Thiago. I believe this is out of the cards that you can pack in most consistently, the fourth one we're reviewing or something, maybe even the fifth one now. We're going through them guys, we're going to try and review as many team of the season cards as possible and, uh, and I'm enjoying the game, I'm enjoying playing well. To a degree, I'm enjoying playing foot champions in the game. Uh, you know, being able to test out these really, really cool cards. I love team season just for buying cards and, you know, using them for a few games here and there and stuff like that. And then, like, the ones that I really love, like, picking them up and actually using them in my main team and stuff. It is pretty fun. So, he did cost me 160,000 coins in the six games that I did play with. All those games were played on foot champions as well. He scored me four goals and didn't get me any assists, which is a very interesting return. He's also got five-star skill moves as well as a three-star weak foot. Then, getting into his in-game stats is mean. It's not that will be his 97 short passing, his 98 ball control, as well as his 97 dribbling, and finally his 98 agility. And I did also have the finisher chemistry style applied to this Thiago card. He's got quite a few traits to him as well. Injury prone, outside foot shots and flair, and then two AI traits of dives into tackles and technical dribbler. And um, I have really turned around my fortunes uh, in foot champions so far. I'm not going to get carried away with it, but I am doing a lot better at the moment. I started off my first three games with one win and two losses. That's now changed to a point where I'm now at seven wins and three losses, um, which is pretty good. I just lost my last game then, and that's probably going to be me done now for foot champs for today. And then get back in tomorrow. Just make sure I get that silver one. If we can go for goal three, I'll go for it, but I'm not going to get carried away with that. As long as I can get silver one, that'll be pretty good. And we'll obviously do like a rewards video as well for you guys which would be pretty good um, next Thursday. But uh, focusing on this Thiago card, I, I, I like him. I, I rate him a lot. I, I know one of my viewers packed him uh, last night. I believe his name was Kean or something. Kean? Is that is it Kean? I can't remember. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Um, but he packed him apparently last night. So fair play to him. And he's a great card to pack because I rate him a lot. He kind of reminds me of a few like of the previous um, like Team of the Year Iniesta cards from years gone by. Like in FIFA 16, FIFA 17 and stuff like that as well. Um, very versatile. Can play as far as I'm concerned. He can play as a cam, a sentiment or a CDM. I think his best position is the sentiment position as a boxer, boxer midfielder because he has got decent defensive stats. Um, and he's got nice attacking stats. He's got like some really, really well, he's got insane dribbling stats. He's got very nice shooting stats especially with something like the finisher chem style it bumps them up pretty nicely and the reason why i put the finisher chem style onto him is because i think his pace is fine for a centre midfielder his passing as well is class for his position. His dribbling is pretty much already maxed out. So I thought, let's get that physicality up a little bit more. You know, try and get a, a little bit more strength on him in that midfield area. So it takes, so, you know, um, is the finisher camp so takes his strength up to uh, to 75, which is pretty nice. And a lot of his shooting stats go up as well. And I will put finishing down as the first pro to the card because he scored me four goals in the six games, which is absolutely fantastic. His positioning goes from 88 to 92. His shot power goes from 85 to 98. His long shots go from 88 to 99. His finishing goes from 77 up to 81 as well. His volleys go to 99. Absolutely outrageous uh, shooting stats. I suppose maybe his finishing is still like a little bit average and stuff, but uh, but he can bang the ball in the back of the net. He's you know he's a good finisher in front of goal 100%. Um, you know four goals in six games. Um, you know I think. In, in order of positions where he, he, he is best used, as far as I'm concerned, I'd still say the sentiment position is the best for him because he's such a well-rounded player that you get the benefit of his attacking stats and his decent defensive stats as well. I think the second best position for him would be a cam. And then the final position we're probably playing last but would still probably do a decent job, especially with something like a powerhouse cancel or a sentinel cancel that improves that defensive stats. I will put a CDM as probably the last position to play him in, but I still think he could play in that position. It's just that, you know, it wouldn't, I, I personally wouldn't put them like in that position first. I think someone like a, like a player moments Kimmich, if you've already got that SBC done, would probably be just as good as, um, as, as you know, as Thiago as a, as, a, as a CDM. But, uh, you know, with regards to a sentiment, he was superb there. Going with those four goals in six games, great return. His second pro will also be his passing. Now, he didn't get me any assists in the six games I don't have a clue how he didn't because um you know he was involved in a lot of the goals making the original key passes um you know created chances for Ricardi for Crespo for Cruyff and stuff he, his passing's just class all around you know there's no real need to bump up his um his passing stats because they're already insane you know 94 long passing 97 short passing um, 93 vision uh, great stats all around there and then also his dribbling as well I will put down as a pro now five star skill moves as I've you know I've mentioned it plenty of times on the channel it five star skill moves is wasted on me um, I'm sure there's someone else who who knows how to, to use skill moves who can probably utilize them even better you know i was doing like the uh, the step overs and stuff like that which is kind of um pretty fun with him but, but but you know but apart from that i didn't really go any further uh down the skill moves um road to be quite honest but um 
in, in terms of just how like, he feels on the ball, very nice and smooth. Um, nowhere near clunky or anything like that. That's where he could feel good as a camp because he's got that amazing agility at 98, that 94 balance, the 98 ball control, and the 97 dribbling as well. He'd feel nice and agile as a camp, but it's still really, really good as a, as a centre midfielder as well. It does allow him to kind of push uh, nice and far up the pitch and stuff like that as well, which is pretty nice. No cons to him whatsoever. No issues at all to the card. Very, very solid. Yeah, maybe it would like him to, you know, at times to be a little bit stronger, even with the finisher cam style's physicality only goes up to 75 strength, which still isn't the greatest, but it's not the end of the world. I think it's a very good card to get. If you get him for champ rewards, happy days to you guys. And even with regards to buying him off the market, do I think he's worth 160,000 coins? Yes, absolutely. And yeah, maybe he might go a little bit cheaper, in, you know, in price over the next few days, but not by much. Like, he, he won't go under 120,000 coins um, at all, and I, I can't see him rising to any more than 200,000 coins either. So on the whole, great card, very good value for money. Once again, team season, I'm just absolutely loving. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys later.